Um, this is our 2009 Harley Crossbones uh, Pearl Harbor tribute bike. Remember Pearl Harbor is their Pearl Harbor survivors motto. It's all hand engraved. There's over 120 separate facts, figures, or images about the attack on Pearl Harbor. For example, here I got on this cover a, a Purple Heart, and it's remember, it's remember Pearl Harbor, keep America alert, as you can see engraved on the top there. It's on the intake, uh, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Got all sorts of uh, decorations with hibiscus flowers, Hawaiian state flower. And on the right side of the tank is the USS Arizona when it was at sea back in the 30s. After it was destroyed in the harbor there, December 7th. And then the memorial itself. The banner across the top reads USS Arizona BB 39, 1177 souls lost. And that's the USS Arizona Memorial. Got on the cover of the, in the front of the air cleaner, the Pearl Harbor Survivors uh, official logo. Um, it's a Springer front end. I got a V for victory. It's all hand engraved. Chiseled into the metal. And then it's chromed, and then they paint around it. A gentleman named Sandy Steiner from uh, Chrome Fusion in Las Vegas, and his son Jason did most of the work, along with their wife. Uh, remember Pearl Harbor, December 7th. There's a 1940-ish Harley logo. Another V for victory on the front of the speedometer. Now this is a real special imagery over here. After working with the Pearl Harbor survivors in San Diego so long, I got to be good friends with John Finn, who is considered the very first Medal of Honor recipient of World War II. He uh, was awarded his medal for his actions the morning of the December 7th at uh, Naval Air Station Kaneohe Bay. And after I, I told him about the, the concept for this bike, he agreed that it would be okay to put his uh, image on the motorcycle and I joked because every everywhere I went to, to photograph the Pearl Harbor survivors and if John was there there was always women whispering to them to others oh he's so cute I have to go kiss him so I put the hula girls on either side of John and they're dancing his uh, his tune there and after it was all finished John graciously autographed it at the age of 101 just about a year before he passed away um, his medal and an identical copy of the back of his medal of honor is a citation the actual engraved citation I don't know if you can see it in this video it'd be hard in this angle but uh, reads awarded to John Finn Aviation Chief Ordnanceman, United States Navy, for extraordinary heroism, excuse me, yeah, extraordinary heroism above and beyond the call of duty, with telling effect, when with telling effect, he manned an un, unprotected machine gun in the face of heavy enemy fire in the Japanese aerial attack on the Naval Air Station Kaneohe Bay territory of Hawaii. December 7th, 1941. Although painfully wounded, continued action, continued the action against the enemy attack, excuse me, against the enemy attacking planes. We got our hand-tooled leather seat, of course, with remember.